Talk about the like the owner transfer process when you buy. We didn't talk about the other one. When you buy them, it's like this, how does that work? What did you do and how did you transfer everything? So he had a different name. It was ADG Climate Control Storage. So I had to take over the Google My Business account. I had to put in Lifetime. So the, the good part about that is the reviews from two years ago, I still had the five-star reviews. I didn't have to start over there. Um, I put in a call center like I did with um, Lost Facility. Um, I He didn't have easy storage solutions. So I had to you know basically build the entire, I had to add in the unit mixes. I had to do all of that myself. The website, I told ESS, just make it like my Lufkin facility. So they did that. I implemented the call center like I have there. Um, and yeah, that was kind of it. You know, I added this line here, you know, because I don't have admin or moving fees or anything like that. Um, and yeah, that was part of my process, all of that. Okay. Oh, so you have no, do you have no security deposit, no admin fees? Yeah, I don't charge. I know some facilities have like a $29 admin fee or something to collect additional revenue and move in. Um, I just wanted to be upfront with my tenants and say, hey, you're just responsible for rent nothing more nothing less there's no sales tax there's none of that in uh, texas so well that's good how's that going are you having a lot of people like leaving a whole bunch of stuff or uh leaving a bunch of stuff yeah like when they move out when they move out no i mean every tenant keeps it pretty clean i would say in the mm -hmm. move out process and i have my my boots on the ground going to inspect it for this facility i have two boots on the ground people that are local i pay them each hundred dollars a month one guy helps with the the mowing and landscaping and uh, helping the retail tenants if they need anything repaired. He's more of a hands-on kind of guy. The other person just manages the self-storage and helps with overlocking and cleaning out vacant units. And so they both have different roles and they're both friends. And How did you find them? I just kept them. The previous owner was using oh. them. So just kept both of them on. Okay, and they're working out good? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Somebody's asking, are you retail are your retail spaces triple in leases? No, it is not triple net because in triple net, they I this is my understanding that they would be paying the insurance and property taxes. As the landlord, I'm still responsible for that. But what they are paying for what uh, I'm providing the uh elect, you know, I, they're paying their own electric bill, so it's a gross lease. Um, and I'm responsible for the property taxes and insurance and the HVAC. Um, this is like so basically this is the list of the expenses of what yes. you, what it's going to cost this is it right so this there's not a lot of expenses. around this so this is uh let's see what this adds up to uh eighty thousand a year including the debt payment but that you know it's not part of your noi since that goes towards uh the principal and the interest but everything else would be part of the operational expenses of of running this facility how did, you, how did you get this funded i was going to ask you how much was it making when you purchased it uh it was an eight gap so i want to say about eight grand a month or something like that okay when i bought it and now it's it was it was a little bit over 10 grand a month but you know we had uh i had to evict the donut shop because he wasn't paying rent for the last you know three four months and so now it's down to 9200 a month but we're running that space out for 800 a month. We have, you know, some people interested. So it'll bump up the income to a little bit over 10 grand. And then if we lease up the vacant units, that should hopefully get it higher, as well as adding in those 38 units at the back. So I'm hoping it'll be worth, you know, it should generate about 12, 12 grand a month after everything is said and done. Would you say the uh, the retail space takes up a lot? I mean, the retail space takes a lot of time or is that pretty easy to manage as well? It's very easy to manage. I mean, they, they're they set up on, uh, some of them do like a recurring direct deposit into my bank account. Some people mail me a check. Some people were doing PayPal, Zelle. So I'm getting money from all different ways, but um, no, it's, it's pretty easy to manage. The tenants take very good care of the space. As I said, they've been there average 20 years. So 